keep checking back to the previous timetables for the Long Island Railroad, effective as of now, March 29. I wish it was tomorrow. Riders have been speaking up about schedule changes put in place Monday by the agency to accommodate the lower 25% ridership. Commuters say it's meant longer rides, longer waits. Absolutely, the trains are packed. The trains are packed. I probably won't get a seat now because I'm with you, but... I know, that's my Thank fault. You. Thank you. Bye. The LIRR announced it was changing back around 5 p.m. Tuesday, less than an hour after Governor Cuomo brought up the LIRR schedules on a phone call with reporters about COVID. I'm calling on the Long Island Railroad to reverse what they've done, uh, increase service. You don't want crowded trains, crowded platforms now. We used to have three or four trains an hour. Going down to one train an hour, it's crazy. Charles D'Souza organized one of the responses over the past few days, alerting riders who took to social media and elected officials from the governor to senators. Everyone worked together and we were able to change this. So I'm proud of that. You, know, you start at seven, you start at eight, and you gotta be there. Long Island Railroad riders and advocates made this case, how it's affecting essential workers. Early on in the pandemic, you know, the MTA had this mantra, you know, they called it heroes moving heroes. Well, is this how you want to treat your heroes now? I don't think so. I mean, you're making it extremely inconvenient and you're putting them at risk. The LIRR had been rolling at about 75%. They'll return to that then on March 29th. The LIRR president says they will continue to monitor ridership and add trains. They, they had responded to some of the outcry uh, on Monday by adjusting the schedules uh, for Tuesday. Outside Penn Station, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.